Welcome back, dear children. We are learning the poem Beauty. Yes, fantastic poem. Very interesting poem. You all like it. So, what is beauty for that? Your response are awesome, and the remaining responses I will show you after the video, dear. Right? Beauty is seen in the sunlight. Beauty is seen in the sunlight. This is the first two line. Beauty is seen in the sunlight. Repeat along with me, dear. Beauty is seen in the sunlight. The trees, the birds, uh, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Again, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Again, dear, come along with me. Corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. So beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. It is the attitude of the person. Beauty is everywhere. It can be seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, the growing crops, people who dance to show their happiness when their crops are ready. Right children? Beauty is heard in the night. So, you can see the night sky. Beauty is heard in the night. Wind sighing, rain falling. You can see the wind sighing here and rain falling. Or a singer chanting. Or a singer chanting. Singing, chanting and singing. Or a singer chanting. Anything in earnest. Serious and determined. Especially very serious. Too serious. And unable to find your own actions funny. So beauty is a thing to be felt. It can be heard. Means one can listen in it. One can listen to it. And like one can hear its sound when night falls. When the wind blows and creates a sound. When rain falls on the earth. When a singer sings. One can even feel it in sincere and honest convention conviction of a person one can even feel it in sincere and honest conviction of a person so the sincerity of a person the hard work of a person also you can see beauty beauty is in yourself beauty is being the best possible version of yourself on the inside and out this is what we discussed Right? Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves. So good thoughts, good speech, good deed should always be there with you. Each and every moment you are living, you should be good. You should have happy thoughts. You should have good thoughts. And you have to speak in a good way. That is what is the author's wish. Okay? So, never ever think about bad, right? In your dreams also, in your work and even in your rest, you have to think good. What? In your dreams, in your work and even in your rest, you have to think good to others. Okay, children? Can you able to understand? Right. Beauty is not always external or visible. So it is within and it can be an abstract noun. Okay. It is an abstract noun. One's views, good acts, one's wishes, which, which one even imagines in dreams. Everything has to be good. Beauty can be one way of work or even the style of taking rest. Thus, beauty is very vast. It cannot be confined to one thing. Rather, it is there in everything. We just need eyes and a heart to see it. So, that is the end of the poem written by E. A. Scheer. So, she is only the author E. A. Scheer. Louis Abaita Chewy, that is what E. A. Shear or Blue Con. She's also called as Louis Abaita Chewy. She's also called as E. A. Shear or Blue Con. She was born on 1926. 
She is a Native American writer, a poet, an educator, and who is an enrolled member of Isleta Pueblo. <coughs> so this is what is graveyard. Louis Abeta Chui, September 9, 1926 to July 21, 2014. So, right children, can you able to see the screen? This is what in your book the poem will look like. What is beauty? Beauty? What is beauty? Try to describe what beauty is or list some of the things or persons you think are beautiful. Now, you are going to read the poem at least two to three times. You just read the poem louder. Okay? Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting, anything in earnest. Beauty is in yourself, good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work and even in your rest. Again children. Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting, anything in earnest. Beauty is in yourself, good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work and even in your rest. Right? So, we will see the word wall, corn, it's a chief cereal crop of wheat, oats, maize, barley, extra, it's the same like that. Harvest is the time of the year when crop is ready. Sighing is a sound of a deep, loud breath or exhale taken in relief. Deeds, acts. Repeat. To happen again and again. So chanting, singing. So that's it. So I hope you will write all these in your classwork. Next is working with the poem. All these are question and answers. You just go through this. And the third and fourth question you write on your own. Okay. You gave a speech. It was very excellent. The same thing you can produce it as a paragraph in your notebook. So, poem summary. The so point by point you take down. The poet is trying to say in this poem that beauty is in everything. All the small things we do or the environment around us, everything has beauty in it. Everything has its own importance. All things are beautiful in their own unique way. Sunlight has its own beauty. Beauty can be seen in the growing corns. People who are working and dancing for getting good harvest. Beauty is not only seen but also be heard or felt. For instance, when night falls, wind blows slowly, the sound of rainfall or when a singer sings. In all these we will hear beauty. They all give pleasure to our mind and make it feel happy. That is what important. Beauty is not just outside. It is within. Beautiful is the self. Self, not the shell. It's a self. Our good deeds, happy thoughts, please everyone are all beauty. Our dreams are also beautiful as they give us reason to advance and work with zeal. Zeal here represents enthusiasm. Beauty is in your own style of work, the way you take rest and the way you sleep also. Beauty is there. Beauty is everywhere. It is in attitude, the way we look at things. Actually, everything is beautiful in its own unique manner. The need is to feel it. You have to feel the beauty. Right? So, first question. The poet says, beauty is heard in. Can you hear beauty, dear? 
add a sound that you think is beautiful to the sounds and the poet thinks are beautiful. The poet Shelley, you all know Shelley, right? Shelley said, heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. So you have to hear the unheard sound. That is what Shelley means here. So what do you think this means? Have you ever heard a song in your head long after the song was sung or played? So first a few years back, you could have heard a song. After long back, you're hearing again. So what do you think this means? The chirping of birds is also beautiful. The poet says that when we hear melodies, we find it sweet. But after hearing those melodies, when we imagine, okay, when we imagine about melodies, that is unheard melodies, we found it sweeter than the original melody itself. Yes, sometimes I heard long after the song was sung or played. So do you hear? Yes, I heard. And if you heard, you write yes. So read the first and the second stanza of the poem again. Note the following phrases. Corn growing, people working or dancing, wind sighing, rain falling, a singer chanting. These could be written as. Example they have given. Corn growing is in the short form, right? So instead, corn that is growing, people working, people who are working or dancing. So can you rewrite the other phrases like this? Why do you think the poet uses a short phrase? Why, baby? Shall we? What will be the answer? Yes. Wind that is sighing, rain that is falling, a singer who is chanting. The poet uses a shorter phrase to enhance its beauty. Fantastic, dear. So, we came to the end of the session. And before that, I want to share some of the, some of the speech by children. Who gave about beauty? Isn't it? We left it halfway through. And so we will uh, see the remaining session also. Right? One minute, dear. We left off with uh, Mohita. A wonderful morning to my friends. Today's topic is beauty. The quality which gives the pleasure to the scenes, the state of being beauty. Thank you. Fantastic, Mohita. Next comes Rahul Ishwar. Good morning, friends. I'm your friend Rahul Ishwar from 6th B. Today I am going to talk about talk about the beauty. The beauty is a the, the beauty is a human natural things. Hi, friends. I'm. I'm your friend Sushipa from 60. I'm going to talk about my life, my, my home, that is my family. I used to share troubles, problems, worries with my family. And they take a lot of care with me. And I used to say, my brother also a uh, beauty. Very good, Sushifa. Next. Hi, friends. I'm Krishna. I'm going to talk about the beauty of Disney Princess. I like Disney Princess. Disney Princess is an angel of Cartoon Channel. It has visual instruction, it adds a good character. Disney Princess closes to when name as Clouder. I always share with my cousins about Disney Princess. Very good, Prashita. Next comes. Hello everyone, I am Sahana of grade 6 a According to me, the most beautiful thing is humanity. And this shows the beauty of a person in this pandemic period. Very good, Sahana. Time is up, so I am making it shorter. Hello, 
I am A Kavya 638. I am going to talk about beauty.